Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So, exciting stuff. We've been working through the night it's uh, been really, really tough. This stuff is never easy, guys. That's why I've always said you need to be willing to put a bunch of money and a bunch of time into these projects because it just, basically, the amount of time you think it's gonna take, double it, and then you'll be in the ballpark, which is exactly what's happened here. Another big learning curve. You never stop learning. We kind of underestimated the amount of work. We also um, haven't even started the hard top. The deal was meant to be that we had contractors come and do all of this, but we just could not find contractors. I think we went through that in an earlier episode. Um, we found Forrest, who was able to take care of the transom, but for some reason, every good contractor in the whole state of Florida was busy. So, I'm so happy with the spray job that we did last night. Um, it just sat so nice and flat. Amigo, Roberto, dos minutos. Gracias. <laughs> this is not going to need much work to get it up to a nice polished finish. Um, so, got an update for you guys. The other boat that we were going to do, the Lucia 40 2018, that sold to one of our fans before we even started working on it. So, they bought it for $150,000. And I sat down with them, I sent them my spreadsheets, I told them everything I knew about the boat and I estimated that it needed about $120,000 spent on it to get it up to an undamaged state. He thought it was a little bit less and I brought a few things to his attention, but my $120,000 was to get it like perfect, perfect, perfect. So he's possibly not gonna replace the engines. He may not put a generator in it. He can have it how he wants. So that was kind of good. We didn't have to do any work to that boat. Jeff sold it and uh, we were able to focus entirely on this, but um, again, this has been so much more work. Well, I thought I was gonna be here for two months. It's been nearly, nearly, we're coming up on four months since I started to um, repair these boats in the Bahamas. So that's the thing with these hurricane damaged boats or any damaged boat, it doesn't have to be hurricane damaged boat, any boat that needs repairs, everyone, we always underestimate how much time these things take. And this is again, taken about double the time that I thought it would. So, always learning. And this is where that big crack was. I don't know if you remember from the original episode in the Bahamas. It was a big crack here. Ended up being just a huge core replacement. Um, it, just, it just went on and on and on and on and on. We're just gonna go back to Parlay with all of this experience now that we have on top of all the other experiences and uh, get to Parlay done properly. Make us strong, strong, strong. That's what we're doing. All right guys, big moment here. We're about to take the mold off the transom. Uh, so we've just unbolted it all and let's see how this thing pops off. Hopefully behind the mold, it's a finished surface that we can work with. All right, here we go. We're gonna take the first part off. Are we ready? Yeah, ready. <laughs> <laughs> you sure we're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh shit. Not amazing. Okay guys, here we go. Not quite the result we were looking for. Um, you know, the, the structure is there, it's super strong. The glass work is excellent. We've got more than enough glass there. The core, we've changed the core to the foam core. The only thing that happened was um, when we lay the gel, gel coat in there because the sun was beaming on it like right now, the mold itself was obviously a little bit too hot and even though we went with like a 1.2% catalyst in the gel coat, like pretty much the lowest you'll ever want to go. We've got this happening. So the gel coat, we did three, three coats of gel coat there and it just, it just peeled off, off the uh, mold. But like I said, the glass work is good. I can guarantee you that. But this gel coat is very, very disappointing. So it just means we've got to grind all this out 
We'll sand it back at least, fill it and fair it, and then re-gel coat it. So we were hoping that this whole section here would just be perfect, and uh, we could just tab it in here. That's the next thing we got to do is grind this back anyway, and tab this together from the outside because it's all glass from the inside. So places like here where it's blistered out, it uh, doesn't matter because we're going to scarf that back anyway and tab it in. So structurally, we're super solid. We've got the shape of the boat. Damn it! I wanted it to be perfect. Uh, you know, I'm just a, uh, I'm a perfectionist. It uh, works for me sometimes, but it works against me sometimes. And now is one of those moments. I'm just a little bit disappointed. It's a good repair like it's strong everything's good it's just that gel coat didn't come out perfectly but i'm kicking myself because the morning that we did the gel coat because the sun is on it from there we felt the mold and we were like is this too hot blah 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 and we were talking about it and we decided to roll the gel coat anyway and this is the result so if we had just waited till the afternoon when the sun was over on that side and wasn't just beaming down on that mold I'm pretty sure we would have had a perfect finish there. So just kicking myself a little bit, but I need to just take a step back and just realize that it's a good repair. It's a really good repair. I'm just being a bit hard on myself. All right, guys, I'm going up the mast to install the wind vane, the Windex, and the VHF antenna. Let's go. Come on, boys. Pretty high up here, boys and girls. Okay, so without dropping anything, what should I do first? Do not drop one of these, Mr. McCray. Okay, I'll just set that there. Windex. I'll just set that there for now. And the wind vane. Wind vane goes in there. Come on, baby. There we go. Tighten that up. She's spinning nicely there. That's Riviera Marina where we're staying on the boat. It's Riviera. That's Peanut Island behind us. So tonight, Jamie and the two videographers, Cynthia and Amaya, are going back to Panama. I'm so jealous. Uh, they're gonna be back in Linton Bay tomorrow morning. They're gonna be back on Parlay. They're gonna see McFly, my beloved dog. And um, they're just gonna hang out. They just took the opportunity, the flight was $40 to get back to Panama. So they just grabbed it. I've got to stay, I want to see this boat launch um, and tie up a few loose ends and stuff. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Chicos! <laughs> Alright guys, so they've, they've been working hard on the, uh, the mold section here. Um, they've now tabbed in the join from the outside as well and they've ground it down so now I can fair it because it's so flat already this is really really close to where we need to be I'm just gonna run some um, gel coat through it with uh, cover seal in it to thicken it up then we'll sand that back and then hopefully we just got a, a flat surface once again so um, making good progress um, all these screw holes here where the um, where we screwed the mold into We've glassed again with epoxy, so we ground it all out and then that's the layers of epoxy glass and glass in there um, to make sure that's strong and sealed as well. So coming together nicely guys. Alrighty guys, so we're just in the uh, port side engine room and this Transom repair is completely done. It's got a ton of glass. We use vinyl ester, 
super strong this is not going anywhere but just to finish the job off we're going to just paint some gel coat over it so um the gel coat that's already inside here is just a slight gray color so i went and got just a little bit of uh black pigment we're going to put that in with the gel the white gel coat Whew, dusty <laughs> Um, oh, just got windy and a blue fiberglass everywhere. Then I can get this engine in. So that's what we're doing. Do you want to listen to cool one? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's close enough. We're, um, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Looks really close. So we're just going to run with that. <laughs> Look at that. All right, thanks for everything, Mike. Mike's leaving us. No thanks for a week, solid week's work. Dude, it's been a pleasure, man. <laughs> I'll be on it. All right, man. All righty, guys. It is our second spray day. Um, we're going to get most of the spraying done. We're just not going to get this transom done. This is holding us up. Um, just the fairing and shit's taking so long on it. But um, got nice weather today, so we really want to spray that you want to spray both bowels just want to um just get some gel coat up there so that we can really keep this project moving hopefully in about five days this boat will be in the water with fresh anti-foul everything like that um so it's just me and roberto here today it's sunday we have just finished putting plastic over everything that needs protection so that's a big job it's taken us a few hours just to do that i'm just going to spray this part here spray a little bit up there spray both of these bowels that one that one and a couple other little spots here and there so that's what we're doing all right and we're off first we're going to leave mix up half a liter at a time 500 mils first loads going in there we're going with 1.2 percent hardener um 10 percent styrene which is the thinner where are we going We did it. I stopped filming because we just got on with it and got it done. But uh, me and big Roberto over here, <laughs> three thick coats, put wax in the last coat uh, so that it's going to cure nicely. And uh, we'll show you what it's like tomorrow. Hopefully, it's a good job. All righty, let's go check out the spray job. The spray job looks good. Spray there and there. Let's check out the bows. Excellent. Looks so good. They'll polish up real nice. And all of these repairs that we did along here, we sprayed all of that. Awesome. There we go, look at that. Yeah, so it goes right back to there, delaminated. So we've, um, we've ended up paying someone to do the take care of all of the anti-fouling. We've just got so much to do on the, on the top side. So um, they're charging $800 and that's including sanding the bottom, um, doing any little touch-ups that there might be, um, putting a coat of primer on and then two coats of anti-foul and three along the waterline. She's starting to look like a boat again slowly. Finally this transom is going to turn white. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we've just wiped it all. A couple of times with acetone, we're making sure we don't touch the wall with our greasy fingers anymore. And uh, we're going to dump three solid, three solid coats of uh, gel coat on here. Let's do this. You see red light? Now we're filming. Enrique's going to film for us. That's good. <laughs> Roberto's going to stand around doing nothing. Supervisor. Huh? <laughs> Why are you embarrassed now? <laughs> Why are you embarrassed now? Normally you're yelling at me. <laughs> All right. So we got the A team here.
That's us. We're all done. Looks great. Now we just got to start sanding it out and buffing and polishing it. And yeah, man, looks good. Check it out. Morning, guys. So our paint job looks awesome. It went on really nice, really smooth. Um, so the guys are going to start sanding it while I prep to put the engine in today. So that's another big moment. Also, our anti-fouling man is here, so he's just put a first coat of um, anti-foul in there, so it looks real nice. Changes the boat so much, just with a lick of anti-foul on there. The keels look awesome. To get the engine and sail drive in, we're going to use the halyard and a couple of guys pulling on ropes and um, get it in that way. We're going to put the sail drive in first. In order for the sail drive to go, we're going to take the whole prop shaft assembly out. So it'll actually come down the hole, then we can bolt the sail drive down, lower the engine in, and then couple them together. So that's the process. Okay, down. Boom. Are you okay? Okay. Can you take a photo? Okay, slowly down. Okay, stop. Okay. Stop. That's it. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, how cool was that? After all of that hard work, it was so nice to finally see her sails up. Hope you enjoyed this hurricane boat rebuild series, guys. It's been a lot of hard work literally blood sweat and tears so thank you all for supporting us thanks for commenting thanks for liking thanks for subscribing we will see you next week bye